Hey, what's up everybody? This is Blitzwing Ben back here today for another video and oh boy, today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Mega One Step Turbo Changer um, The Last Night Line Toys um, Dragon Storm and wow, he's a big boy. He's a big figure so I'm not going to have probably enough camera space to get them all on screen but here he is. I'll have to lift up my camera setting. Um, so he's got this switch on him. He's kind of a kitty toy, but I really like him, just like for a display option. And he gives us an accurate uh, color scheme, or no, not color scheme, an accurate um, design to like one of the knights in the movie, which is pretty cool. Which I think it isn't, but it's still a cool representation. Um, so it's got try me mode, and then the on mode, I mean, and then the off mode. Oh gosh, his wing just fell off. Um, so these are detachable. They come in the box detachable. So does the tail. Um, for dragon mode articulation. Tail moves up and down, so is this little panel here. It's like a hooked, curved tail, like as you can see there. Um, the front legs can kind of move, and you can kind of stand them up a little bit, like on his hind legs, I bet, if you wanted to. But his wings flap as well, and his heads move. Um, he makes a ton of different sounds. I might do an update. It says at least on the box, like 20, I believe, different sounds that he makes. Um, but here's the first one, I'll count them up for you. Oh, is it? Nope, he's not on. There we go. So his head moves forward, and he's got these... So he's got these light-up fade. And this blue color, this, um... It's actually a black light, so you can use your, that for your siege packages if you get this guy. So he's really useful. Or for the hidden symbols on the other figures of this line, the Turbo Changer line. Um, one step turbo changer, yeah. Um, so that's really cool. So that's the articulation. These two heads don't move. This head does move and opens and closes. Um, wings do flap when you do that, as you can kind of see. Um, the other sound he makes is... i got to turn him off quick. So the other sound he makes is this one. It's like he's breathing fire. Crackling sound. Um, so yeah. There he is, and then to transform him, you just take this little lever here. I'll just keep it, and then push this button. So you're not going to be able to see it very well, because um, he's so big. Um, but just, oh, you want to take the tail off first, one step, during the transformation. They lied. I know, it's, they say one step, but it's actually two steps, because you have to take the tail off. But I suppose, in some way, that doesn't count, I guess. Um, you can leave it on transformed, but I like to take it off. But, um, so just transform them, just, I'm going to face them forward, flip them up. Activates the transformation sound, third sound he makes, fourth sound, um, his arm, and then in robot mode, he stands way taller. Um, he says, Autobots, Seaglass Nitong Da, which is the protect the staff. Seaglass Nitonda. That's pretty cool. Quintessa. Quintessa. Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime. Autobots. And then his arms kind of stay out. His articulation robot mode is just the wings can kind of fold back if you want them to. They don't really stay very well. You can lift up these arms and pivot them however you want on his back. Um, he's got a bicep swivel. Net, slightly under 90 degrees articulation at the elbow. But very nice knight design. Um, if you, so he makes that transformation sound, and then he makes a transformation sound back. So that is pretty cool. So yeah, I got this from my dad, and I'm really happy with it. I've always kind of wanted this guy. He's, like, really cool, honestly. Um, just like a display piece on the shelf. This looks really nice. Honestly, for a kid's toy. Um, but yeah, his eyes light up, he talks, as you can see. So now he says, when you transform him, he'll say different phrases now. So now Autobots. he says, Autobots, which he said again. I'll show you his Cybertron. eyes. Cybertron. Decepticon. Decepticon. <laughs> so I'm going to give you guys a full look at all the detail he has. Just going down the body. Nice gold paints. There's the wings back there, the arms, big old feet. 
She's got some junk kind of hanging in this area, but that's okay. That's just to keep the legs together. He's got this, like, loincloth piece and, like, this golden abdomen section where the speaker actually is, I believe. Um, and you can take his sword. It's, like, kind of like a... Now it becomes, like, a, one of those, like, hook weapons that I think one of the knights had in the movie, maybe. I believe it's possible. Um, and then you just stick it in his hand, either one. And now he is armed up and ready to fight some Decepticons. And what I like to do to display him, if I'm displaying him in robot mode, is to have it above his head like that. And then have him say, if he says it. Autobots, oh, he's not going to say it. It's on the other voice change, uh, the other voice clip. Um, but it's it's the uh, Siglas Nitonda. So, to remember when they all raise their arms and they go protect the staff. Um, very big figure. Here he is. Next to, of course, Rampage from Studio Series. It's a Voyager. He's, like, bigger than leader class size. And I will show that. Um, here he is next to... My most prized figure, and my one of my my one of two of my most prized figures in my collection. Although I love all of them, um, it's the masterpiece MPM Bumblebee, and a guy I hope to review one day, um, the TF Dream Factory Star Scream, who's like the most movie accurate Star Scream that's transformable. Well, that is before the masterpiece, but I honestly think this guy still looks amazing. Um, so he's bigger than leader class even, which is crazy, or like masterpiece scaled. Um, and here he is next to his, get Star Scream out of the way, Let's see if he'll talk, no oh he will, Awesome, so he lights up and has sounds too. Love this guy. Got his thrusters and he's like, oh my gosh, I just love him so much. Um, and then my MPM 7B will be, but here he is next to his brothers. And I have now actually seen these guys, what the hell they look side by side. And <laughs> oh my gosh, he is huge. There he is. He's not very in scale with the other knights, but there he is with Dragonicus and Storm Rain. Hopefully I'll be getting, I might get Skeletron or Steelbane, but I might pass them up too. But they look pretty nice, it's just it's hard to find a good price for them anywhere, you know. Um, but they look very nice together. Okay, so thank you so much for watching everyone. Um, I will up, make an update video if I find out any more noises. I believe if you turn the lights off, I'm not going to try that right now, but if I've tried it before, it hasn't worked for me. But I believe if it's like dark in a room, then you can get more sounds that he says. And, like, if he interacts maybe with other uh, one-step turbo changers, but I don't have any, and I don't plan on getting any of the other ones. But, yeah, very cool figure. Totally recommend them if you still you can still find them. I think he's uh, on Amazon. So, yeah. Um, pretty nice figure. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. And this is Blitzwing Ben rolling out, and I will see you guys next time. Siglas Nitonda. Siglas Nitonda. <laughs> Thank you.